Hi guys, I'm Smita and welcome back to the Beauty Desk. Today I plan to review the Hourglass Ambient Palette, uh, Ambient Lighting Palette. And even though this is not a new product, it's recently launched in Singapore and the reason I'm reviewing it is because when I wanted to buy it almost a year ago, no one had done a review for a skin tone like mine, which is NC42. All the Indian bloggers who had reviewed it were either much lighter than me or much uh, had a much deeper skin tone than me. So I really want to review it and uh, here's what I think about it. So let's get started. First things first, the packaging. If you see completely reflective and it looks super luxe however it is a fingerprint magnet but I don't think that should matter at all because you're not really going to be carrying it out around a lot you're just probably going to keep it on your vanity or you will probably keep it in your makeup box or something like that next it's got three shades now when I say shades they are just rep they kind of recreate um, the kind of lighting you might be in. So there's dim light, incandescent light and radiant light and each of these recreate those kind of looks. And what I really love about this palette is that it is so finely milled. Each of these highlighters is so finely milled which is great because if you have slightly mature skin it's not going to settle into fine lines if you have slightly larger pores it's not going to emphasize your pores so each of these is really useful and you're probably going to be able to use all let me quickly show you how i use them so what i do is i'm using a real techniques brush sometimes i will just take the first one and put it all over my t-zone it just blurs all the imperfections it's beautiful it's really gorgeous let me show you so just here this doesn't even give you like a highlight it just smooths out your skin really well as you can see and then what i do is i go in and take the middle shade it kind of it, it sometimes it gives a, like a little powder off but not a lot i've seen other highlighters and blushes that give much more and i'll go on to the high points can you see you can actually see the line um the high points here i like to just put it in on my temple as well and blend it out yes i have done a bit of contouring because i really wanted to show you how this looks and really bring out the effect of it. You don't have to, it'll look just as gorgeous. So at any given time, I'm always using two shades from this palette, but my, the middle one is my favorite. And I like to also, even though I have a sharp nose, I just like to like emphasize it a bit. And I don't like to go right down here. I'll just do it up here. And then I'll just take a little bit more and put it under my eyebrows just to give it that little lift it's a great way to lift your eyebrows guys you can even use it on this cupid's bow and here to emphasize your lips. I'm using the wrong brush. I should actually use another one for this. Ever since I bought it, I use it a lot. I probably, there's very few times I don't use it and it's probably because I just want a little more. It's a very everyday kind of highlighting palette. So it's not going to give you, if you're scared of highlighting and you think that, oh my God, I'm going to look like a disco ball, this is the one for you. It just makes everything look just sheer and beautiful and it gives you this very subtle kind of glow. And I feel it's totally worth every single penny you will spend on this. Moreover, because it is so finely milled, it doesn't just work on an NC42 sort of like a warm underskin tone like me. It works on every skin tone. It's really sheer, so it doesn't matter what skin tone you are, this will work for you. This is really one of my favorite products that I've bought so far, and I really don't think it gets better than this. Thanks for watching. If you like this review, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my page. See you!